Our next guest is a talented actress starring in the Netflix hit show, You Take a Look. Get started. That outfit is everything. I love, love, Thank love you. it. I always love a pop of color. It's so good. Thank you. It's Thank perfect you. for the happy place. I love it. This kills me when y'all go to school with like a, a sea of stars. You went to middle school with Kalani and Zendaya? Yes, yes. What's yes. like? I mean, it, it's so crazy. Like, I mean, like we talk about it now. Yeah, that's me and Dad at the, my, the Uncharted premiere. Um, but yeah, like. We talk about it all the time, but it's like, it's so wild. Like, the, what are the chances? Like, I was talking to Kehlani about it yesterday. Uh -huh. She's like, from middle school to being famous, like, let's go. I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is, blows my mind. I'm like, it's wild. And I love, like, it's like just the support. Like, it's like, I'm like, I'm with, <laughs> that's a great photo. I'm with Kehlani, like, all the time. And like, just like, it, like, I often have moments and I'm like, wow, like, she's my oldest, oldest friend, like, 14 years, like, and, like to continue to, to grow together and watch each other shine and glow is yes. just like really beautiful. Yeah. That is so awesome. Oh my God. Okay. You have a black belt in karate? I do. Wow, I do. how did that happen? Okay, thank you, thank you. That's um, awesome. <laughs> I did karate for um, 13 years. Mm -hmm. um, so my mother's Korean mm -hmm. um, and she was not, <laughs> yeah, that's in the purple belt. <laughs> um, but uh, she wasn't able to give us Korean specific culture growing up. She was adopted, um, but she always wanted to make sure that we embraced our Asian heritage in whatever way and just knew that we were Asian. Um, so she found a dojo down the street from um, our house. Mm -hmm. um, and as, as initially my brother started first. Okay. And I was like, I want to, I want to. Um, so yeah, so like I got into it as well. Um, and like she made us promise when we started that she was like, you can't quit until you get your black belt. Oh. And I, we, we, we agreed, like, and I was like, okay. Like, and about maybe like, I got my black belt in five years. So maybe around like four, four years in, I was also playing on three different basketball teams at the time. I was like, I was a busy kid, man. Like, yeah. yeah like, going to like, pra like going from one for like basketball practice to karate, like back to the other basketball practice. Like it was a lot. And so like, I came to my mom crying. I was a brown belt at the time. Like basically I was one away from getting my black belt. And I came to her crying like, mommy, please, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm so tired. And she said, no, you promise. You said promise. like, not until you get your black belt. And I was, when I got my black belt, I was so grateful that she made me, like she made us stick to our Good. guts in that way. Because uh, karate really shaped me. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 That is so interesting to me. I'm like, do you have a preference between basketball or karate? I can't say that I have a preference because it's like, <laughs> so like basketball is like, that was like my dad's first love. Okay. And so it's like, and I was a daddy's girl. Uh -huh. So like, that's what got me into <laughs> basketball. And so like, it's just a different, like, I do like the competitiveness that way, just being on the court and like having to like think fast to like, because he always used to tell me that I was really smart to the game. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't, toward my later years, I didn't practice as much on my own. So like, he's like, you're smart, so don't match your skill because you don't be out there practicing by yourself. I'm like, <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like I will like basketball has a special place in my heart that way, and then the karate with the Asian like culture, yeah. like though Japanese is very different than than Korean. It just it it's it, and karate like very much shaped my character. It's what taught me discipline. Like mm -hmm. I would not be here today if it wasn't for karate. Amazing. So, yeah. I love it. Talk to, uh, talk to us about you. Tell us about your character. Um, so I play Marianne Bellamy. Um, she is a mother. Um, yes. Um, and so last season, um, you know, she was um, a, a librarian um, in this little town called Madre Linda. Um, and um, a lot went down last season um, and she had to run away. Um, and so this season we are in London um, and uh, essentially like Joe goes to like find her. Um, she's very much this season, you'll see a, a lot, a much rawer version of her. Mm -hmm. Like last season, she very much had to play a part to be who she needed to be for that town. To, she was going through a custody battle like to get her kid back. Um, she's a, a recovering addict. 
Um, and this season, her bohemian very much comes out. Um, she's an artist. Um, she um, is a very grounded and truthful human. Like, Marianne has taught me a lot um, playing her, mm. um, which, which I really appreciate. Um, and yeah, like, it gets wild this season. It's, it's very, nice. very wild, yeah. <laughs> You sing, and you say you learned a lot from your character. You sing very attached to your character. Yes. Which is important as an actress. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of what your character has been through. Like, why was it important to you how your character was being portrayed? Um, so, just so, obviously, you know, whatever character I, I play, like, I'm a mixed-race black woman, so, mm -hmm. which means uh, any character I play is going to be black. And it was just important. The first conversation I had with my showrunner, I was like, so... As a black woman, like, are you going to be true to the traits that I feel all black people exude? Like, it's mm -hmm. always, all of us get so annoyed when we watch a horror film and the black person's the first person to die because it's like, no, if we heard something in a dark corner, we're going. <laughs> we ain't gonna check it. No, we're not no, gonna check we it. No, we going another one. Like, exactly. It's like, okay, like, y'all good, like, go ahead. Like, I'm out. Like, so I was just very, like, I was just adamant about, like, okay, are we going to, like, I understand, so it's, you know, with the show, it's like Joe's a stalker, whatever, all that, but I understand certain things need to happen in order to, um, to make this, help the story move along, but if she's, I don't want her to be oblivious, because we as black people, like, I do not feel that we're ever oblivious, it's in our, that generational trauma, what's in our genes to always be aware, the survival instinct that we have is, is, is just unmatched in some ways, like, it's, so I wanted to make sure all of those things were honored yeah. um, in, in the portrayal of Marianne, as well as like, even if she was going to be, the fact that she was a recovering addict, I didn't want it to be like, troped or, or try to make her seem like she was less than. Right. Like, and I really appreciated, appreciated the way Sarah Gamble, our showrunner, she was like, no, she heard me. She was like, absolutely. Um, anything, like if anything feels weird, like please tell me. Um, we had, uh, last season that gets, you, you see a, a bit more get played out this season. We had a, an episode called Missing White Woman Syndrome um, in which Marianne talks about, she's telling Joe about the phenomenon that happens in America that when a white woman goes missing, mm -hmm. everybody goes searching. When a woman of color goes missing, it goes quiet. Um, and you very much see this season, um, Marianne turns into that missing woman of mm -hmm. color um, and nobody comes searching for her. And because she's a, a recovering addict, they think she's relapsed. They think she's like, so it's, I just wanted to, I was like, I, I'm, I'm here for this story, but let's, for those who f do find connection with Marianne, um, whether it be her as a mother, like her as a recovering addict, her as an artist, like mm -hmm. I want them to feel the most, uh, just the most truthful sense of that and not feel that their story is being taken advantage of or taken for granted. Um, so, yeah. Utilizing that platform. That very much so. Thank very you much. for that. Very smart. Thank you for coming. Will you come back again to see no, us? please. I would absolutely love to. Have love to. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You Season 4 is streaming now. Only on Netflix. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.